Hi everyone! Today I will be making my very first original ACO size watercolor painting. To some of you who do not know what an ACO is, ACEO or ATCs, which they are also called, are original or print art trading cards of the size of baseball cards which come with a certificate of authenticity on the back and are always signed and numbered. I have always been selling ACEO card prints of my work so far, so I thought that it would be nice if I tried to paint an original ACEO for a change. So this will be my first real ACEO or ATC card painting. I first start with applying water to the background part beforehand, so it will be easier to apply the paint and to mix the colors into one another. I only add in water beforehand to the background this time, because it is a very simple background. There is too much detail in the character, so if I apply water on the character as well, the paint will bleed and it will be harder to paint these details. With a piece of paper, I quickly touch the background at parts to make it lighter if I feel that it is too dark. You need to do this when the paint is still wet. Now I start painting her skin. I decide on where the shadows will be and leave the rest of her skin white. When I have done that, I smooth out the shadows with water. I will be making the skin and shadows darker at a later stage. After this, I apply the red paint for her lip. If it happens that the colors bleed, or if I have added too much paint, I will apply water to the parts that I want to remove and then touch those parts with a piece of paper to remove the paint. If you cannot remove all of the paint in one go, Reapply water and gently touch those parts again with paper until you are satisfied. I now add in two little dots of red paint on her cheeks and wash them out with water again and mix the red with her skin tone, so it will look as if she has a little bit of a blush. I then paint out her lips in more detail with a darker red paint. I leave a small part of her lips uncolored, so it will look as if she has glossy lips. I now start painting her hair. Just like her skin, I first start painting the darker parts and leave the highlighted parts white. I then wash out the paint so it will get a softer look for now. Just like her skin, I will be painting in more details and make her hair darker later on. Now I add in more shadows and darker parts of the skin. I do the same thing for her hair. I add in some darker parts of her hair so it won't look too light. I also decided to paint over her colored strands because I didn't really feel that it fitted in in this painting. Next, I start coloring her dress by adding in a red base color and adding some shadowy parts as well. As for the flowers, I wanted to get a gradient look, so the flower will get a red color on the inside and slowly changes to a lighter pink color on the outside. To do this, I only paint the inner part of the flower and wash it out to the outside with water. I also decide to give her green colored eyes. I think green eyes look nice on brunettes. At this stage, I feel that the hair looks too washed out and I decide to add in another darker layer. 
This time I won't be blending it in with water, so it will look more like natural strands of hair. Next, I am going to paint in the details of her ribbons and sleeve with only the tip of a very thin brush. After that I add in some more details to the flowers so they will look more defined. Then I make the shadowy parts of a dress darker by mixing in brown colored paint with the red one. You can also create a more darker red look with mixing red paint with black but brown paint gives the color a warmer feel I think. At this part, I now paint in the rest of the diamond shaped parts in her clothing and ribbons with gold paint. This is acrylic paint and not watercolor, so this paint is thicker and a bit less smooth to use, I think. So when you make a mistake with acrylic paint, you obviously cannot just wash it away as easily, like you can with watercolors. But sometimes, if you are very quick and the paint is still very wet, you can still fix your mistakes fairly well by dipping the paint away with paper or painting over it. I also paint the border of the painting with the same acrylic gold paint. I like using gold paint in my pictures lately because it can add a cool shiny extra effect to your picture. But I always be careful not to overdo it because by using too much gold it can also easily become too tacky I think. I now start painting the outlines. I always do this with brown watercolor and the tip of a thin brush. You will need a very steady hand to paint in the outlines and details in a face on such a small size like this one. So if you are shaky or too afraid to mess up, just use pencils or fine liners or something else like that instead. With a watercolor pencil, I add in a thin red line on the inside of the border. To get some extra depth and dimension in the colors, I also added in some purple to the darker shadow parts like in her hair and on her skin. I do this again with a watercolor pencil. As for the finishing touches, I add in the highlights with white ink as usual. And finally, I also thought that the background felt a little bit too empty, so I quickly added in little white dots of white ink in it. And here you go. This is the final finished version of my very first ACO painting. I hope you enjoyed this video. And for those who are interested to know more about me and my other works, please check out the comment section below or well the description box below and there you can find links to my website Etsy store and other websites where you can find my work see you next time